My fins have been sealed and sanded, and we are ready to put them on the rocket. Okay, so here, uh, again, you use white glue or wood glue. And we're going to start with a thin bead of glue along the root edge here. Okay, we don't actually want a lot on here, so I'm going to smooth this out and remove any excess. We just want an even, thin film. And we'll put fillets on this later to reinforce it. Now, I'm going to remove this gook from my fingers here. Alright, and now I'm going to place this along the etched guide here just like that then I'm going to remove it and I'm going to let this get tacky for 30 to 60 seconds the glue is now tackier and I'm going to put this right back on the way I had it okay so we want to be right in between those two etch marks Okay, now sight down the fin, make sure it is straight and perpendicular. Okay, so once you've got everything straight, we're just going to press that down well. Okay, now I've creeped up a little bit, I need to move my whole fin so that we're flush with the tail cone. There we go. Let me give this one more check. Alright, now I'm going to let this dry for at least 10 minutes or so. Um, and then we'll come back and do the next fin and so on all the way around. I will do those off camera though. While we're waiting for the fins to dry, we can go ahead and assemble the parachute. Just open this up. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I don't like to tie parachutes directly to nose cones. Instead, I'm going to use a snap swivel here. Now, if you do just want to tie yours on, that's fine. Uh, the process is going to be very similar here. So first, gather all the shroud lines around one finger and then grab the middle of the parachute sheet with another and if all these are roughly the same lengths all those corners should be right about on top of each other and they are okay so if you need to adjust it you can uh, modify the relative lengths by just changing how much uh, shroud line you've got going over one side of your finger versus the other all right so now without letting go of this Okay, we've got this loop here. Now if you just want to tie this on to your nose cone, just pass this loop through the eyelet and then pass the entire parachute through the loop and pull it taut. Okay, now instead I'm going to use a snap swivel here. And the main quality to look for is that the snap part is large enough to fit around the nose cone eyelet. Okay, this is going to be strong enough for this rocket regardless of the size. You just need to make sure you can get it on. Okay, so I'm going to take the other end, the swivel end here, and I'm going to pass my loops through that. Okay, and again I'm not letting go of this either with one hand or the other. Now I'm going to pass the entire thing through the loops and then take those loops and pull it down and then pull them taut. All right, come back and make sure that we haven't slipped. All, right, all my corners are still in the same spot. All right, if they're not, you can simply loosen this and try again. If you have this where you want it, then take just a little touch of glue here, white glue or wood glue, and just work that into the knot, and that will keep it from coming undone. 
Okay, now the advantage of this is one, with the swivel there, it's less likely to tangle up the shroud lines. It's not perfect, it'll still tend to wind up, but not as much as if you didn't have it. But the other nice thing about this is since we have this snap here, we can easily change parachutes. Um, either, you know, if you need to put a larger one on, if it's you want more hang time, or maybe it's a really windy day and you want one that's a little bit smaller. It's really easy just to pop this out, change it out, and put a new one in. Okay, and some rocketeers just don't like to store the parachute inside the rocket when it's not being launched. So they can pop this out, put their parachute wherever they keep them, and then put the rocket on display. The glue on my fins is dry, and next we're going to add the launch lugs. And the first thing I'm going to do here is just sand down the length of each launch lug here just to give it a rougher surface much like we did on the body two. All right, and then we're going to apply some glue here. And then this will go on the etched outline on the body tube. Okay, so we can check this, sight down it, it's just a little bit off there. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the forward launch lug. Okay, and now we're going to sight down both of those. So the two launch lugs should line up and they should be straight and parallel with the body tube. And they are. So I will let those dry for a little while. And then when we come back, we'll put the fillets on the launch lugs and the fins. My launch lugs are dry enough that we can add the fillets to them. And I'm going to add fillets all the way around on the fins as well. So here, we're just going to run a bead of glue along each launch lug, first of all. And then have a paper towel or a rag or tissues handy here so you can wipe your fingers. So I'm just going to smooth these in now. And now we're just going to repeat the process on all of the fins here. this fully dry. If you want thicker fillets, um, it's best to do it in layers rather than trying to just make one thick fillet on there. Um, also, if you get bubbles in this, just let the, it dry and then cover over the bubbles with a little bit more glue. The fillets are all dry, and I may have to do redo a few of them here. 
But the next step I'm going to do is prime the whole thing because that helps bring out the gaps and spaces that may need some more fillets. Structurally though, this is about done. The only thing left to do is to attach the shock cord and the parachute to the nose cone. And otherwise all I need to do is prime and paint this. There's no particular paint scheme for this rocket. Um, and so I just went with kind of a, a generalized greenish type of camouflage pattern. And I just did this with rattle can spray paint. Um, I do have a couple of flaws here. Okay, so I've got a little bit of uh, alligator skin going there. and There's another patch up here by the nose count. Um, and this happens when you, you apply too many coats too quickly. Uh, and that's after decades of building model rockets, that's still my biggest fault with spray painting. I always think, mm, it can have a little bit more there, and it's too much. So when you get to that point where you think, it can have a little bit more, don't. Okay, let it dry fully, um, and then go ahead and recoat it. I'm going to fix that later, though. For now, we're going to do the final assembly. So just remove the nose cone once more, find the shock cord. Alright, let's go ahead and pass the shock cord through the eyelet. And then tie that on with a double knot or two half hitches. Alright, pull from both directions. Get that down good and tight. If you have more than about six millimeters or a quarter of an inch here, go ahead and cut that back to that distance. Don't cut it all the way back to the knot though, or it may come undone. And the, the reason for the short free end there is to help keep that from getting trapped between the tube and the nose cone shoulder. All right, once you get that the way you like it, go ahead and put on just a little dot of wood glue or white glue. Okay. Just a little bit there and just kind of work that into the knot. And that'll help keep it from unraveling as well. Okay, then we can come back to our parachute, which we mounted a snap swivel on here. Now if you didn't want to go with the snap swivel, you do the same thing here. Um, just send your loops through that eyelet and then pass the entire parachute through it and tie it on that way. And that's what's shown in the instructions. But here, the nice thing about this is we can just go and clip this on, close it, and it's ready to go. Okay, and this is what I was talking about earlier is that the clip here has to have enough room to move freely on it. So if your clip is too small, it'll still handle the weight of the rocket, but it could get bound up here or you may not be able to close it at all. Okay, with that, this rocket is finished. I hope you had a good time building this. Um, this is actually one of the easier scale models that Rocketarium builds. So have a great flight and a safe recovery, and please stay tuned for more of my videos.